Hey, okay na. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Oh, 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 Wait, wait. I'll, I'll protect you. This cat snuck into the house and now it's stuck because there's a lot of dogs. I have to try and get it upstairs so it can get out through the terrace. Oh, <laughs> come on. It's scared. Well, I'm scared too. I don't want to hurt you. Come on. Come on. It's here. It's here. Come on. Come on. I'll leave you alone. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Hello, I'm good there. Thank you. Very close to your business. Hey. Woo! Yay! Yay! I'm not entirely sure if I've filmed or if I've included this in a previous vlog but I'm actually in a different bedroom now and I don't know if I'm going to do a room tour because I've set up my phone if it isn't already obvious on the ring light tripod stand and I have no idea why I even bothered to set up i even have my lavalier microphone on but besides the point i'm actually just huh i've been pretty restless lately but considering that there are a few things that i'm looking forward to and one of them is graduating from this channel that you're watching this video from i thought why not why not downsize? I have a bad obsession with uh, decluttering, but only because the end results or like the process of doing it makes me feel good. So I, I guess it's kind of bad in terms of if I'm creating waste. So usually what happens is that I just organize everything or just do a little bit of cleaning and removing the mess. But yeah. I I don't even know why I like did this whole formal setup but I just wanted to share like a quick life update because it's October and a lot of things has been going on at the same time nothing has been really happening and I uh, I've kind of lost that whole inclination to just share my life on camera or maybe if I do share my life on camera, it would be in another medium. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just looking around at my new room. And like, I feel pretty happy with it. But there's just a little missing something. It's not like I don't have enough storage. But I think the kind of storage that I have doesn't work with the type of things that I do own. So... I have to work on that like right now yeah I don't even know why I bothered setting up this camera I'm thinking I think I, I just remember it the reason I set up is because I kind of want to do a uh, try on video but 
the thing is I don't even upload fashion content anymore or maybe I did for like a while back when thrift stores <laughs> are still open and a thing I mean I, I'm sure they're open now it's just that I don't even go outside anymore I'm, I, I've just been staying home ever since because I'd really rather not go outside so the clothes that I do own I want to be able to say that I love every single one of them to keep them or if they're like a sensible thing to have in my closet because I can say that I like all of my clothes or that I could and would wear them but it's, I want to wear clothes that I want to wear as opposed to oh this is what fits oh this is okay sure because I find myself you know going back to the ones that I actually like so I might as well just keep those that I actually like and get rid of those that I don't want this lip balm is overdoing it it's super pigmented because actually during setup I look so pale it was as if but actually I am sick in the sense that I have anemia so I tend to look really pale so I thought I'd wear some lip balm but it looks over the top is it um, extending my lip shape I don't even know but okay bye I guess <laughs> oh is it on my tooth anyway th that's weird <laughs> <laughs> oh my gee, Papa, mo ka ng ewan. Come, 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 come. Oi, boy. Oi, look like boy. Totoo ba yung bangs? Ako nga din eh. Natarpan ko talaga pagkakas. Patang ikli. Ah, nakatali ka sa buho mo. Wow, ang ganda natin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna use this for my next uh, like webcam. No, no. Take picture. Already video. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, di ba masaya ng magano? Masaya na mag mag video call. <laughs> Sa mga boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Hindi <my> <laughs> nga niya kayang gano'n. Hindi nga niya kayang mag wink. Eh, hey, ito yung mukhang galit. Nasa default yan eh. Na anime. Oy, humaba hair. <laughs> ang anime. <laughs> ang anime. <laughs> oh, di ba? Oh, alam mo na sa susunod.
thank you for being a part of our family for the four years of making us happy, of protecting us, our home, for being a part of our lives. I can only hope that while you were living, that you felt nothing but love from all of us. And that you knew that we love you so much. I hope in the next life we can see each other. You know, we can play again, have fun. <laughs> it's been all of eternity together. <laughs> with your brothers and your sisters. <laughs> This is probably a bit too dramatic to talk about and <laughs> I'm kind of building up a little bit of emotions but I guess it's a, it's a little bit hard when you have panic attacks and anxiety for like so many years that it's gotten so easy to become traumatized over things and then earlier, I was just looking out the window, like I was just checking out my dogs, and it was a bit hard. I panicked for a little bit because uh, I thought my dog, uh, Jiro, looked a little bit strange with the way he slept. Because it looked the same as when my other dog died, so I opened the door and just... Uh, just to check in on him and to my surprise yeah I mean it, he was asleep and for some reason when he looked at me this feeling just came over me that we suddenly just you know remembered her at the same time and then I just told him that yeah I miss her too. It's been like a while. But you can never really forget those that you love even when they're gone. Because you're gonna continue to live. And then, you know, they'll be alive in your memory, so... I never really made a video for her like I did when our cat died last year. I guess it's still a little bit too soon. Or maybe it's just better not to. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm crying on video again. <laughs> <laughs> 
My dogs are barking in the background, but I thought I'd do the three minute crying challenge. Considering that I know myself as someone whose tears are quite shallow, I don't know if this is going to be hard or easy. I guess I'm somebody they call emotional and dramatic because whenever I talk about something seriously, I tend to really pour my heart and soul into it. And I'm actually in great pain right now, physically. And I feel like it's a little bit of cheating because I am in pain physically. And I'm trying to put myself in a mentally painful situation, which is kind of anticlimactic, considering crying is good for releasing stress. So it's a little bit over four minutes and I can barely breathe. So um, I guess this is it for this challenge. I feel like I had a lot of aid. Something to stimulate me. That's you know, physically mentally, emotionally. <laughs> so that's the first challenge and uh, it best be crazy. <laughs> okay, bye.
table as well jumping rope. Hello. Hello. Kamusta po ang experience dito sa baba? Ang hindi tinatahulan ni Baldo. Mayora. YouTube, are you high? It's not really a newfound addiction. And I don't gamble. But I got a new toy and I'm like so excited to share it with you guys. It's here. And I like it how I think this is um, the old style of the number five. And this is what the one bamboo looks like. And it comes with like poker chips, but I'm not gonna play to gamble. And I don't know what this is for. But yeah. I still have to figure out what this is for also. And this thing that... Eee, I'm excited. Yay! Oh, come here! Look at these pretty flowers. went out today to go to Uniqlo at Westgate for the first time like since ever and I don't know if it was like a freeing move not having to vlog it or whether it was a regrettable choice that I did because it was like a bonding moment for me and my siblings I, I kind of feel regret a little bit but they, at the same time I have this memory that I enjoyed being with them. Look at your face. Look at <laughs> Look at your face. What? <laughs> Show me. Look at your face. Such a gangster. Hi. Hi. Oh, I was just kidding. Come back. Kitty. Kitty. I was just kidding. Proud ka? You like to sing? When takoyaki is life. It was just a one hour yoga session online and it was pretty cool. I actually tried to screen record it a little bit so I can give you guys a glimpse of how it looked like. But my application failed 
And then by the time that they wanted everyone to open their cameras so that we can take a group photo, my camera decided to die. So great. Ah, anyway. I don't know if I feel calmer or if I feel like more stressed out because of that ending, but nice. Hi. Somebody's gonna get super stressed out, but look who's with us today! Hi! This cat is so cute. Smell, smell. Day one of Ulysses is a swimming pool. That's the pool. I think this is going to be an episode of revolution because there's no more power and we're just working with what we've got left. I need to find out if there's an ultra uh, power saving mode on this phone. Anyway, stay safe, stay dry. Hello, long time no vlog. <laughs> or is it? I actually received my uh, diploma and transcript of records today. And now it feels like I have officially graduated. Because if you haven't watched my um, older vlogs, I didn't attend my, um, my official graduation ceremony. Just because there were other ways I could celebrate. story but that, that's pretty just much it and I haven't really been active on social media but I thought it'd be cute cute no to just uh, post and send an update like life what's up but other than that yeah I'm okay that's it so, I don't know yeah bye <laughs> it's a bird I'm finally done with work, and if you can hear the background, there's a certain sound. Doing what? I just woke up and I was watching videos, and look at my hair! <laughs> I'm freaking out a little bit. I was literally just looking for Sean Mendes on my uh, YouTube music library and then I pressed shuffle and then for some reason I was just singing perfectly wrong on my head and then 
once it shuffled, that's the first song I was like playing. Weird. It's actually my granddad's birthday tomorrow, and this is the first time we're seeing them after the whole lockdown thing. Of course, we're being safe, we wore masks and face shields for social distancing. Hey, little cat! Sorry, and you know we had to like really soap up and like almost took a shower actually, just so it's going to be safe around them. I really miss them so much. It's been so long, even before the pandemic. It's been quite a while since we last saw them. Oh, I mean, this cat is so cute. Look at that. Hey, yo. You're so pretty. Oh, such an adorable cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Like, I know I said I'm going to like stop vlogging soon, but, you know, this is like the last bits of life before I finally delete this whole channel. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you guys in a moment. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Are you okay? You wanna hang out with me? Let's go! Come on! Feel free to eat, little one. Where's our cat? Pero, picture. One, two, three. Mm, kalaw na kita. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm probably gonna censor this just for my privacy purposes, but I used to have a live journal account which I created back in 2011, to be more specific, January 20th. And the last time I opened it was February 15, 2012. And I was active that time because I used to follow. Hey, say jump stuff and it's so funny because I already deleted the email address associated with it I only remember the username but I have no idea what the password was but I easily retrieved it 
I'm dying. I want to show it to you guys, but then at the same time, I might just end up blurring it, but it's so funny. Ah! Okay, let's go. Like, for real. I seriously don't know what to think. Like, look at how old this is. I didn't even do anything here. I literally just used this to, like, just read translations. Hello. <laughs> These are precious assets. <laughs> if I didn't move my room downstairs, I don't think this cat would ever want to come downstairs and I'm glad that she finally has the courage to do so and now she comes here all the time or whenever she feels like it or when she's not running away from home <laughs> Pete. 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 <laughs> So cute. Kotoshino わかりませんが全く<笑> なんか心の中で人生をゆっくりでなんか感じてと生きてはなんかもうちょっと<笑> やっぱり何回で、なんか日本語わかりません。けど、まあ、これから先もなんとかやります。はい。<笑> が痛いか全くわからないからもうここで終わります。はい。じゃあ。自撮りをちょっと下手すぎてどんなアングルをしようかな全くわかんない。だってなんか可愛いさとか。かっこいいとことか。遥かと全然できないんで。どうしようかって。わかんない。なんかどどっから見ても気持ち悪くね。いや、ちょっと学びたいかなと思って。こうやって前髪ない。前髪ない。<笑> うーん。私ダブルダブルチンがチン。ちょっと待って、その言葉は日本語ではダメですけどね。ダブル何これ顎顎
ダブルアゴあるからまあこうやってできない<笑>じゃああのちょっと首をこんな感じで左から右かわかんない私は髪もなんでこういうの形がするのよなんか光もなんか後ろから来てなんか違う<笑>大丈夫なの窓の前立ってるからねどうしようじゃなんでかしら自撮りするのよはいはい。手はどうするピースオッケーグッドボット<笑>グッドボットってどういうことちょっと待ってはいはいあのアングル見つからないこれはダメやだ怖いおかしいじゃあなんかまっすぐでこのアングルしましょうかおかしいはいどんな笑顔を見せようか小さいハオ見せようか<笑>おかしいちょっと重いそうだあの瞳がこうやって合わないとダメですねでも私今はスクリーンでも見ているからわかんないじゃあやりましょうかじゃあピスでいいかなピスな何のピスこれこうやってこうやってこうやってこうやってこうやってエコボーほくろわかんないうんちょっと肩が硬い<笑>じゃあこうやって<笑>分かんない<笑>どうしようこうやってじゃあねサラムコサーユダーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえーえー Days. <laughs> um, I'm on vacation leave. It's almost the end of the year. <coughs> And I really needed to take this break. I'm not like ill or anything. I'm not feeling the best, but I've been getting a lot of eye strains because since this whole、um, work from home thing has been going on. I've been on my computer for at least more than a third of my day. And it's not really doing me any good to be <laughs> I'm giving eye rolls to people because they wouldn't let me cross the road.、Uh... Yeah, and so whenever I get eye strains, I got this. Really ugly, inf not infection, but my eyes look really strained. Like the, the vessels will start appearing around my,、uh, what is this? Is this called the cornea or something? And then, you know, it'd be so red and swollen that blinking for me would hurt. I'm、uh, <laughs> sorry for that silence. I'm trying to drive safely. And, like, whoa, 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 what was I gonna say? Yeah, the eye strains really suck. 
and the only way for me to get rid of it is by looking at trees exercising my eyes by not looking at a screen so I thought this would be a perfect day and time to go on a uh, vacation leave what's happening And I really wanted to spend today just resting, but now that I have an agenda, which is okay too, because I like having things on my plate, like not like urgent and super important stuff, but just having something to do is good, I guess. But then I guess it's good that I have an agenda because I was actually planning to spend this day, woo, spending this day just a resting. But then I didn't want to be like a potato. So now I'm going outside to get some groceries done and run some errands. Now I know you can do all of this online and stuff or remotely, but we need it. We need it. <laughs> we, need, we need it. No, we don't need it now. The thing is, um, we're out. We're out of coffee and stuff. I don't drink coffee personally, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna get something quickly from the store and go back. We're not the type to order in advance, so these kinds of um, last minute grocery shopping is uh, what they do. Well, I don't know, not me, but people. Heist. What else? Is there for me to say oh if I, I was gonna do the laundry too it's just that I didn't wake up nicely <laughs> didn't wake up nicely I, I went I wanted to wake up without an alarm but uh, my dad decided to wake me up like before 8 because we had to go out and get those um, RFID sticker just kind of thing <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm actually a frustrated driver, so um, if I get quiet, it's either because I'm trying to process and I don't want to say something that I might regret and probably not good on camera. Not good on camera! Yeah, I don't want to like rage on people. It's too early for any of that. Just want to be safe and get things over with. So the car behind me really wants to overtake and like they can try but there's really nowhere else for them to go because there's so many cars in front and there's so many trucks as well. And what else am I gonna say? Oh! If I didn't have an agenda today I probably spend it playing Mobile Legends because it's like end season and it's a little bit ironic because I've posted a few vlogs before this saying uh, oh I'm gonna stop playing ML oh I'm sick and tired of ML but I just keep going back to it don't I it's like a freaking drug addiction but oh no drug addiction is not good but like yeah at the end of this season, I'd probably be forced to stop because, for starters, I'm actually going to change phones. But while I'm changing phones, I'm going to be stuck um, using this um, old old iPhone that I have. It's not my iPhone, it's my dad's actually. And it's old and broken and it's pretty slow. So I won't really be able to... Ah! Okay, guys, hold on. There's a lot of uh, traffic going on.
So I won't really be able to play on that iPhone because it's hecka slow. The battery is already draining quite fast and it's just not an overall good experience for me if ever. I might be able to open the app to claim stuff but playing is kind of out of the question. So if I really do want to play, I'll either be forced to install a blue stacks on my laptop or be forced to borrow the tablet from my dad. So life update. <laughs> I bought a tab, right? So that tablet I sold it to my dad because I needed cash to buy a washing machine. And so needs before wants. So we'll see. We'll see how life goes. But I am excited to upgrade my phone. Come on people. I wanna get out of here. I'm sick and tired. This I feel bad for this car behind me because yeah, they had to follow me all this time. And they don't really have anywhere else to go because it'd be like that. What else? So I guess I'm just gonna do my errands today and just rest my eyes in general, I guess. I don't really know, fam. People in the Philippines don't know how to use their hazard lights and signal lights so you have to be like extra careful as to paying attention on the movement on their movement because bro people be suddenly moving to the streets and you wouldn't even know that the car was like on or something <laughs> yes I'm ranting again okay it's actually a Thursday morning and it's like a regular day so there's work for everybody else and taking a vacation leave on these kinds of um, rush days well I mean some people would think Thursdays are hump days so it's not that big of a deal I don't know I don't know fam I'm, I'm pretty tired I need to put on my mask so I guess I'll talk to you guys later because I'm almost where I gotta be almost where I got all right bye I didn't realize that my hair was super messy but with that I'm done with my errand number one I am uh, off to the market And let's go so that was a bad thing that I did there even though there weren't any cars I didn't use my signals so don't do that <laughs> as much as possible whenever you have an intention to uh, whenever your hands would pivot towards the left or the right you should totally like use your signals or if you're gonna take a sudden break and there's like no stoplights anywhere, you should show your intention. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you should show your intentions by turning on your hazard lights. That way we can make things safe for people. My phone is not. I need to check my other phone, but like I'm driving, so I won't. I'll do it at the plaza. See, like this person suddenly stopped their car and I don't know what they're doing because they didn't really turn on their hazard lights. So I don't know if they're trying to avoid something on the road or if they were stopping. So that's a no good. Okay, okay. Aha! Now I remembered something we needed to do, but that's good that we didn't remember because we're trying to avoid that. So let's go. 
my dad would probably ask me to buy cola for him. But, uh, <laughs> Woo, people. Nope, I don't have the mask on, so I'm not really going to open my door for anybody because it's not that safe. Oh, speaking of which, there's this whole controversy behind people or countries that only use masks but not face shields because apparently there's like a, a law or maybe some sort of a executive order in the Philippines where people out and about in public should be wearing masks and face shields for public safety of course and well that's actually personally I think that's fine that's actually pretty good because we're, pre we're, <laughs> we're preventing the spread of the disease but there are just some countries where... Oh, please stop calling me. Hello? Oh, yeah? Nasa ano? Nasa labas? Nakaliba ko today eh. Kumusta? Oh naman. Okay, and um, 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 anong meron? Ngayon ba? Anong gagawin natin? Call! At tatlo tayo. Ano bang maganda? Wear by or something? <laughs> wear by? <laughs> May wear by si Joshua, di ba? Tawag dito. Pwede mo ba akong bigyan ng mga 10 minutes? Urgent ba? Nasa, nagdadrive kasi ako. <laughs> oh. Oh, sige, sige. Okay, sige, sige. Thank you, bye-bye. Sige, nakala ko, sige. Charot. I thought it was my parents calling me. I was like driving. Come on, people, let me... Woo! <laughs> I thought my parents were trying to call me because like... <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Well, I didn't really say anything bad. I was just shocked because I had to stop while I was um, drive driving because I uh, I was getting a phone call and like there's no hands-free option and I don't want to like get in trouble with the law. Speaking of laws, but I wanted to talk about like in some countries they don't really require face shields or they call it face guards and um, I guess. There are some people who are complaining how come other countries can contain the virus by just wearing masks and um, how come they're requiring Filipinos to wear face shields. But like the problem isn't really about con oh no, no no how do I say this? It's like if we look at the statistics those countries that they were mentioning that were able to contain the virus by just wearing masks are one of the leading countries in the world that has the most positive cases of um, the disease. So I don't know why you should be taking advice from countries like that. But um, not to be like shady or anything. Because even our country is in the list of uh, leading countries. And that's kind of like not a good thing. Um, I guess the whole point for me, like, I'm just giving my two cents because I'm not an expert or who the heck am I to be um giving valid or invalid input about this thing is that there's the saying that you know you should always assume that you're positive so by keeping yourself guarded you are preventing infecting other people as opposed to covering yourself up so other people won't infect you you feel me because it's you can't avoid getting infected in the sense that you know if you get infected that's it for you but the thing is if you are infected like personally like yourself and 
you take measures to avoid others from getting infected, then that sounds more viable. You know what I mean? D did that make any sense? I, I don't know. Why am I sounding like a radio podcast or some kind of tea channel on YouTube? I don't know. I'm just driving and ranting over here. Uh, I need to look for a place to park because... Oh, bungee! I need to look for a place to park because, 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 because um, we're here in the plaza and I need to buy supplies. Alright people, let's go. I might have to park somewhere else. I don't know oh no, they took the space. Damn it. Damn it. I wanted to park there. But that's fine, I'll just turn. I'll just park in here. Go in here for a while, take a U-turn. Why do I sound like a total trash talker? I'm sorry. Actually, it's kind of a problem here because there's no place to park, but I might have to go to, what do you call that place, the, the drugstore, or is it called the pharmacy? The pharmacy! Drugstore! Well, it is a drugstore, technically, but it's a pharmacy. Woo! White cars. Okay, I'm just gonna look for a place to park and I'll uh, continue on with this show a little later. I don't know if I am. Let's uh, park over here. should be fine. I'm just gonna not block the road. Okay, oh that's actually scary, so I'll just park in the middle of the hump. Okay, I'm just gonna be quick. I'll be back. I should probably get like a dash cam installed or something. Okay, let's go. Slowly, people be driving so fast. Okay, I'm on my way home. We're done with our errands outside. So I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is so sad to me because I've been reading up and, you know, Googling because I don't really know if it counts as research, but I've been consuming. A lot of content and media around pandemics and like it's so sad to think that older pandemics lasted for at least three years like that was the shortest pandemic I've seen but I don't know about other types of pandemics but it kind of sucks because Ugh. I'm actually quite surprised that they took this pandemic or epidemic seriously because I remember growing up and we'd have pandemics and different oh, kind of like virus strains that they'd even announce it in school but they didn't really do anything much about it as a form of like safety measures I remember like Ebola, the H1N1 virus, like the first type of like COVID strains, I guess. 
Oh, black cat, that is so cute. Good morning, kitty. I'm sorry. Um, and I remember them, I remember our principal at the time announcing, announcing it in school that, yeah, hey, but there's a virus going around. Um, please avoid doing this and that, blah, blah, blah. But, like, they didn't really do things like we're doing today. Like, please wear a mask or avoid going to school for now, you know, school from home. We didn't have such things. And it's a bit weird. <laughs> it's a bit weird because it felt like it should have been, like, a worse scenario because there wasn't a lot of safety measures being taken by people to keep safe. But like, it wasn't that bad. I guess it was contained in a way. But this one, for some reason, like the more people, or maybe because, maybe maybe it's worse now because even though people are taking safety measures, there's still like a bigger percentage of the population who just do does whatever they want. And then like, you know, the virus be like, oh, nobody wants to listen and pay attention to me, okay, okay. Let's go and um, infect some people, which is, I don't know. I don't know why I put that personification on a virus, but it feels like that. Okay, so I'm on my way home. I'm uh, gonna go on a video call after this. Like, after saying that I wanted to go on, like, a tech break. But, yeah, let's... Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, go, go. I'm curious because I don't know what's happening. Does TJ want to meet up or something? Oh, TJ is a friend from work. If I forget to cut this footage, <laughs> she gave. she's the one who gave me a call earlier. She's one of my good friends at work. From work. Okie dokie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm home. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope all is well with you. Till next time. Bye. Please keep safe. What is this? <laughs> okay. Let's go, peeps. Frustrated um, delivery rider. <laughs> mm, oh yeah, oh yeah. So I basically just described everything that happened. They were frustrated because they couldn't find my house, and like I don't know what to say and I don't know what to do because our house is pretty hard to find, and whatever exists in the map applications that they use, it doesn't really help because. There's a specific way for people to get where we live, so kind of like sorry, but also like, Ugh. and I just want to like thank, thank my friend Yichang, aka Krish on YouTube. Hey, YouTube, just kidding. Um, she's my good friend, and she got me poor katsu. Though. I don't know how she knows, but she got me something that I really like, and I've been actually craving recently. So. Peace sign because <laughs> wow, thanks. I'm like excited to eat this later. We actually have a year end virtual party later, and I'm planning to eat it at that time. So, hearts. Hey, hey, I wanted to do a quick vlog because I was so happy. But last night I just saw Elika, aka Clothes and Bits post a new video and I don't follow a lot of people on YouTube just because I like to curate the videos that I watch or I'm or who I'm subscribed to and and I don't comment a lot but the thing is I comment I commented on her last uh, video and asked her if she could do a closet tour see on screen and then she hearted it and then like six days later she uploads a brand new video which is so unusual because she doesn't upload on like a regular basis she usually uploads like um 
whenever the occasion comes or every season or if I may put it and I'm just so happy because she screenshotted my comment on her video and I'm so thankful for all of her other followers who liked it so it kind of like boosted my comment so she saw it and I'm just like yes okay I'm done fangirling because she's one of my style icons and I'm just like Senpai noticed me? So na. Hi, Ate. Konnichiwa, Roxette here for the last time. Wishing you a wonderful 2020 and beyond. And I hope all is well with you. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>